Hello explorers. Welcome to Krakow, the jewel of southern Poland, brimming with captivating tales and exquisite sights that span across centuries. A city where each street corner tells a different story, where cobblestone lanes meander through the heart of the old town, leading you from one architectural marvel to another. But Krakow is not just a window into the past, it pulsates with youthful energy, thanks to its large student population. Krakow is strategically nestled in southern Poland, along the Vistula River. It lies roughly halfway between the western border with Germany and the eastern border with Ukraine. Its geographical position has for centuries rendered it a crucial intersection of major trade routes, particularly between northern and southern Europe. To the south of Krakow, the land gradually rises into the Tatra Mountains, part of the Carpathian Range, while to the north it extends into the broad plains of the Polish lowlands. The city is 250 kilometers south of Poland's capital Warsaw. Its location, soaked in natural beauty and historical significance, makes Krakow a perfect gateway to explore the diverse landscapes and rich heritage of Poland. History Krakow's history traces back to the 4th century, with the earliest evidence of settlement found on Wawel Hill, the city's iconic landmark. The city's founding is often attributed to a legendary ruler, Krakus, who, according to myth, defeated the Wawel dragon. However, historical records mark Krakow's inception around the 7th century when it was a stronghold of the Vistulans, a Slavic tribe. In 966 AD, a Sephardi Jewish traveler named Abraham ben Jacob noted Krakow in his records, marking the city's first written account. By the end of the 10th century, Krakow was taken from the Bohemians by Prince Mieszko I and was incorporated into the holdings of the Piost dynasty. This marked its formal inclusion into the early Polish state. The middle period of Krakow's history, particularly from the 12th to the 16th centuries, witnessed significant growth and progress for the city. In 1364, King Casimir III of Poland raised Krakow's status by founding the Studium General, Krakow Academy. It is now known as the Jagiellonian University, and is one of the oldest in the world, whose former students include Nicholas Copernicus. The city thrived as a hub of trade, arts, and academics, attracting scholars, artists, and merchants from far and wide. However, it was the end of the Jagiellonian dynasty in 1572 that marked the beginning of a tumultuous period for the city. Following the reign of King Sigismund II, the throne passed through a series of rulers, eventually leading to Sigismund III of the Swedish House of Vesa who moved the capital to Warsaw in 1596. This triggered a series of wars between Sweden and Poland and began a period of decline for Krakow. In the late 18th century, Krakow experienced periods of foreign rule. After the failed Krakow uprising in 1846, the city was incorporated into the Austrian Empire's Grand Duchy of Krakow. After regaining independence in 1918, the city was deeply affected by World War II, particularly its Jewish population, which was decimated in the Holocaust. Despite the devastating effects of the war, Krakow escaped physical destruction. Post-1945, under the socialist era, Krakow underwent rapid industrialization, most notably through the construction of the country's largest steel mill in the suburb of Nauwahuta. Since the fall of communism in 1989 and Poland's subsequent joining of the EU Krakow has revitalized itself, becoming an important hub for the offshoring of IT work from other nations. The city proudly showcases its rich history while embracing the dynamism of the modern world. If you find this video interesting and would like to join us as we explore cities around the world, please press like and make sure to subscribe. Thank you. Attractions Vovel Royal Castle no trip to Krakow would be complete without a visit to the Wawel Royal Castle, a symbol of Polish national identity. Once the home of Polish monarchs, it now houses a vast collection of artwork, antiques, and royal treasures. As you explore the beautifully restored rooms, you'll learn about the castle's history, from its 13th century beginnings through its golden age under King Sigismund the Old, to its decline in the 18th century. Don't miss the stunning views over the Vistula River from the castle's terraces. St. Mary's Basilica Located in the Grand Main Market Square, St. Mary's Basilica is a must-see Krakow attraction. The basilica's majestic, two-towered facade is impressive, but it's the stunning altarpiece inside that leaves visitors in awe. Crafted by Veit Storz in the 15th century, this carved wooden masterpiece is a testament to the high art of the late Gothic period. If you're lucky, you might even hear the Auli trumpet call, or Hegnal Mariaki, played from the taller of the basilica's two towers. Oscar Schindler's Factory The Factory now a museum, offers a poignant look into Krakow's history during World War II. The museum tells the story of Oskar Schindler, a Nazi industrialist who saved over 1,000 Jews from the Holocaust. 
Equally, it explores the broader history of Krakow under Nazi occupation. Through the immersive exhibits, you'll gain an understanding of life in Krakow during these harrowing times. Unusual attractions. Rynik Underground Museum. Directly beneath the main market square lies the Rynik Underground Museum, a fascinating journey into Krakow's medieval past. Thanks to archaeological excavations, you can walk through a network of subterranean chambers where the city's history is brought to life through holograms, touch screens, and artifacts. A highlight is the recreation of a 14th century market stall, complete with sounds and smells. Dragon's Den. Nestled under the Vovel Hill, Dragon's Den is steeped in local myth. It's said a dragon once lived here, terrorizing Krakow's citizens until slain by a clever shoemaker's apprentice, Scuba. Today, you can explore this eerie limestone cave and even see a fire-breathing dragon statue near the entrance. Recreation. Nature lovers can visit lush green spaces like Plonty Park, encircling the old town, or the scenic Zakrzak Reservoir, where you can enjoy a beautiful hike or go for a swim. The Vistula riverbanks are perfect for leisurely strolls, picnics, and bike rides. For those who enjoy cultural experiences, numerous theaters such as the Julius Slowaki Theater and Opera Krakowska offer a range of performances. Krakow also boasts a lively nightlife scene, with Kazimierz district known for its eclectic bars, clubs, and live music venues. Public transportation. Krakow's public transport system is efficient and tourist-friendly, comprising trams and buses. To navigate the city, consider purchasing a Krakow card, which provides unlimited travel on buses and trams. Trams are ideal for visiting major attractions, tram lines 1, 2, 3, and 4, for instance, stop near the old town and Kazimierz. Tickets can be bought at ticket machines at major stops, on board some buses and trams, or via mobile apps. Remember to validate your ticket immediately after boarding. Getting to Krakow. Krakow John Paul II International Airport, around 11 kilometers from the city center, serves domestic and international flights. The airport is well connected to the city by train, bus, and taxi services. The train, operated by Kolj Malopolsky, is the quickest way to reach the city, with departures every half an hour. For those preferring to travel by rail, the main railway station, Krakow Glauny, connects Krakow to major Polish cities like Warsaw and Gdansk, as well as international destinations like Berlin, Budapest, and Prague. The station is conveniently located near the old town, and it's also connected to a shopping center, Galeria Krakowska, providing plenty of options for dining and shopping upon your arrival. Excursions Krakow's surrounding region is as compelling as the city itself, offering a diverse array of excursions. Vielichka Salt Mine. Located just 14 kilometers southeast of Krakow, the Vielichka Salt Mine is an underground labyrinth of tunnels and chambers, some dating back to the 13th century. The tour takes you through ornate salt carved chapels, statues, and even a subterranean lake, showcasing the centuries old tradition of salt mining. Auschwitz Birkenau. Though sobering, a visit to the Auschwitz Birkenau concentration camp, about 70 kilometers west of Krakow, is a deeply moving experience. Preserved as a testament to the horrors of the Holocaust, it's an important excursion for understanding a dark chapter of world history. Zakopana and the Tatra Mountains For nature enthusiasts, a day trip to Zakopana, nestled at the foot of the stunning Tatra Mountains, offers hiking and skiing. Don't miss a ride on the funicular to the peak of Gubaloka for breathtaking mountain vistas. Ojko National Park Just a short drive from Krakow, Ojko National Park is a haven of striking geological formations, medieval castles, and over 400 caves. Nearby highlights include Piskowa Scala Castle and the awe-inspiring Machuga Herklisa. Summary. Krakow, Poland's historic gem, is a city where the past and present intermingle harmoniously. With its architectural wonders, vibrant cultural scene, and poignant history, it offers an unforgettable journey for every visitor. It's a city that captivates with its rich tapestry of experiences, making you yearn to return long after you've left its welcoming borders. Thank you for watching our tour of Krakow. I hope that you found it informative and enjoyable. If you have any additional information or corrections to share about the city, please leave a comment below. And if you want to see more videos like this, make sure to hit subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on our latest uploads. Keep exploring!